If you want to chemically poison yourself, you must use that. Turmeric has phenomenal benefits. So there is a certain way of using the turmeric. So you need to understand what's color, first of all. The color of any substance is not because of what it is, it is what it rejects or what it gives away or what it reflects. Something looks red, not because it's red, because of the seven colors that the white light contains, it holds back everything and reflects red, so it looks red. So red does not mean it is red, red means it is not red <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yes, <laughs> something is red, not because it's red, because it doesn't want red. That's why it looks red. Red means if you're walking in the forest, it's all green, but there'll be one spot of red somewhere, one red flower blossoming. That draws your attention because in your perception, red is the most vibrant of all the colors. All other colors may be pretty, good, nice, but red is vibr vibrant, vibrant. Sindur, you must understand, the important thing is that it is turmeric. That is, it's properly made. If you take the Sindur from the Dev, it's made of turmeric. If you buy elsewhere, it's a chemical powder. If you want to chemically poison yourself, you must use that. Turmeric has phenomenal benefits. So there is a certain way of using the turmeric. Turmeric and lime together makes this and it is very, very beneficial. And the color turns red and it is also used as a… a symbolism in the society. If a woman is wearing Sindhu, she's married, that means she's not approachable. Essentially, it was a social way of discerning who is who in the society. And it has certain health and other benefits to apply turmeric. The color is for a you don't want to put a yellow color on your head like Mussolini. <laughs> so red is better and it is also the color of the Devi always, not just here, always. So it is also a symbolism that One aspect of it is, it may not end up like that for everybody, but this is the aspiration in the society. This was the aspiration in the culture. Once a woman is married, she was referred to as a Devi. It was very common. In our families, my grandmother and others were always referred to as Devi by her husband, always. To recognize that there's an element of divine in her, 